Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to Journeys with Jay. In today's video, we are collaborating with Model Ones on this Builder Gel Kit. It comes with six colors and we're going to be using this today to create the overlay method. And I decided to do a bit of an ombre using two of the colors out of the kit. If you guys want to see how I achieve that, then please continue to watch. So here I'm just showing the inside of the kit, and this is how the six builder gels come inside. Here I'm just showing you guys the actual colors, as well as the product and how it looks inside of the bottle. So I've already prepped and applied my dehydrator and primer by Model Ones. I will have that linked below. I just skipped that step in recording, so I do apologize. Here I'm just applying some acetone using a little detail brush inside of each of my gel nail tips. And this will just help to rough up the inside and remove any shine, making it better for adhesion. And so you'll just see me repeating that step for each of the nail tips. Setup ready. I have my flash cure lamp in the back 
and here I'm just applying my gel glue inside of the extension making sure not to apply too much because we don't want that to overflow under the very edge of our nail so just enough again we're not placing these back to the cuticle we're leaving space between the gel extension and our actual cuticles um, so that we can apply the builder gel in that gap creating the overlay method that helps to ensure our nails last much longer again for the people that have issues with longevity in their nail sets um, this is a great method or if you just want your nails to last longer in general my nail sets when I do the overlay method typically last up to four plus weeks um, but because I'm a nail content creator I cannot wear them as long as I would like to sadly um, but yeah here I'm just applying the same steps going forward for the rest of the nails Now that we have our gel nail tips applied, I'm just going to be using my sponge file and just lightly roughing up the surface of the gel extension only, making sure to avoid my natural nail that is still out.
Next, I'm using a nail file just to really clean up the edges of the nail and kind of bring that shape together a bit more. Here I'm just using a little lint-free wipe to remove any dust from under the nail and from on top. Again, this is just me showing you guys the all-over process of applying the overlay method. So I won't be doing the nail design, but this is really good just for like all of the base work. Alrighty, so here we're starting off with applying our first builder gel in 003. And this is a nice natural pink. So first I'm going to be applying a dollop on top of the nail, a little bit more, there we go. And this product does move um, much quicker than the clear version of it. Typically colors are a little bit runnier than the clear um, because they have pigments added to them. So with this one you do want to work a little bit quicker and as you can see I'm just moving the product around in small circular motions moving it towards the center of the nail and back towards the cuticle. You just want to avoid it flooding to the side and flooding back towards the cuticle. Now if the product does move back there, just go in with a small detail brush with some alcohol on it and you can just remove that product off of the nail and off, well, off of your skin and off of the cuticle. See, I'm just really taking my time, but this clip is just sped up. And then I'm also feathering some down onto the rest of the nail. Here I'm just using an even smaller detail brush just to really feather that product out a little bit more. And then I like to hold the nail upside down just to ensure that that product flows to the center of the nail to create more of an apex. Now that it's looking a little bit more of how I would like for it to look, I'm going to go ahead and flash cure that under my lamp for about 10 to 15 seconds. Now it's time for the rest of the nail and here we're just going in with the clear that came inside of the kit. I'm going to be applying that on the tip where I didn't apply the pink as well as over the middle of the nail where you see some of that pink builder gel is applied and we're just allowing that to flow forward. Make sure to really build that tip up so that it's even with the rest of the nail. You see how, how much thicker that clear is? I absolutely am obsessed with the Model 1's clear builder gel. Um, it is amazing honestly.
you see here with the clear, I'm more so just working it back and forth instead of creating the circles because again, this is much thicker, so it doesn't move as fast and you really have time to work with the product. curing that and then we will move on to the next nail and again we're just following that same exact um, method so um, you guys can see it more than one time Now with the planer nail, I decided to do a, a bit of a thinner layer starting off. And then you'll see me again going in and working with that product in the small circular motions, really building it going towards the front. I feel like I still had a bit more product than I would have liked on the brush at this time, but I'm really just taking my time with moving it towards the cuticle and the very outer edge of the nail um, while still trying to be mindful of the product spreading.
now that I've applied the builder gel to all of the nails, I'm going to go inside of my big lamp and cure it for 60 seconds. Once the nails are done curing, I'm going in with my 70% isopurple alcohol wipes. I get these from Target. I will also have them linked below for you guys. I love these. I use these for every nail video. Um, they don't leave behind any residue, any like lint or anything. So these are perfect for me. And I'm just removing any sticky or tacky layer that may be on top of the nails. Making sure to get underneath the nail tip as well. Next, I'm just going back in with that sponge file. And you guys, I love sponge files. I just feel like they're perfect for just really smoothing out the surface of the nail without removing too much. But the builder gel is really strong, so you can definitely go in with something a bit rougher. I'm just using that to smooth out the top layer of all of the nails. Okay you guys, and this is what the nails look like when we are all done. Again, this is just all of the groundwork for the nails. We have not yet applied any polishes or designs. Um, if you guys want to see that, then please let me know below and I'll see you guys on the next one. Ciao.